Hey guys, uh, it's Lexi here, and um, I'm just going to be kind of doing a kind of serious thing because um, for those of you that don't know or haven't watched my Facts About Me video, you can go, go throughout my channel and uh, check it out. It's uh, 23 Facts About Me. Um, I mentioned that because I had my very first printable experience when I was like 11 or 12 years old. Like, like I actually physically saw a spirit. But, um, I've always, I mentioned my facts about me because I a million billion percent believe in it. Um, I especially do have a gift like I can see them I could I could sometimes hear them I can communicate with them and I can even feel them um most of the time it's hard but I've been able to do this most of my life or basically like all my life because currently now I am 20 at the filming of this video I am 20 years old but, um, excuse me, um, apparently, like, when I was born, I was born with a white veil covering my whole entire body. Like, and normally babies aren't born with that, supposedly. And, um, like, even when I was, like, teeny tiny, like, toddler wise I was always able to see stuff no matter what so I've always just been kind of like you know the unexplained I'm just like really like into it like you know but um I also do have a healing gift um I'm not like making any of this up all of this is 100% real it's all 100% facts so please do not think I am lying about any of this because I am, like, dead serious about all this. And people can call me crazy. But I really do have a healing gift. It's not deep. Like, I can't heal someone who was, like, physically her, like, like has a cut or something like that. No. But if someone is in pain, like, like, for an older person or, like, or, like, your parents or something. Like, like, if they have bad arthritis and, like in like the wrist or like just like anywhere or like if your head is hurting bad or like your stomach's hurting bad or something I um I tap into my inner self I I I hold I hold on to wherever they're hurting at like like for example like for example if um if because I because I've done this like several times Anyway, um, for example, my boyfriend's, um, stomach, whenever my boyfriend's stomach is really upset, what I do is I would, I'm just going to lift on my shirt to kind of, like, show you guys what I mean. I would hold his stomach like this, and I would, like, not press on it hard, but just kind of, like, do it like this, and I would really just kind of, like concentrate like tap into my inner self like cleanse myself and focus on the feeling of like getting better and what I do is I just like imagine like seeing like I imagine seeing a tree like every little perk of a tree or just like something really really calming and and within a few minutes it, it works I don't know I've always been able to do that but um anyways when I was about a preteen, I had my very first paranormal experience. Um, I lived in Virginia since I was seven weeks old, but um, I used to, I grew up in Mecklenburg County. I have not lived there since I was fourteen or fifteen. I haven't lived there since I was like fourteen or fifteen. But, um, 
when I was still living there, it was um, during the summer, and um, and my parents only have like me and my older brother, and so on that particular excuse me summer day, um, in our house at home, um, my mom and my brother went out somewhere I'm not sure where, and my dad was um, was working on repainting our house. Because, you know, our house, like, like, you know, it was built literally, um, the year I was born before they moved down here, like, before they had me and moved down here and everything. And my dad just wanted me to repaint the house to make it look good, type thing. So, so I was basically just inside chilling because I decided to stay home with them, with my dad in case he needed anything or whatever. But, um, the way... Our house was it was a three bedroom house um like like basically if I was sitting in the living room there would be the living room and then if you go to the right it would be the dining room and then right beside is the kitchen and um beyond the living room straight is was my parents bedroom and if you're going down this way from the living room it was the hallway um another bathroom and then me and my brother's bath and me and my brother's rooms would be within that within that hallway so i was sitting on the couch just watching tv and our cat was on um, between back and forth i was like sitting with me because she always was like that and and I remember like feeling, feeling taps on my shoulder. And I remember feeling taps like, like, like several times this happened. And I felt like the first time I just felt the tap. And like, of course, like knowing was actually physically inside the house besides me. And my like, you know, my dad wouldn't do something like that, you know what I mean? The only thing my dad told me told me was that I would come in I would come in and get you if I need you to like help me hold the ladder or or like hold a paint can or something. So I knew that my dad would like come inside to get me if he needed me. And of course I turned around, nobody's there. The second time I felt tap on my shoulder, I heard my nickname Lexi being called. And so I turned around, of course, nobody's there. It happened the third time it happened. I actually got up and like literally looked around the house. And and I and and I went to the um and I went to the front door, which was to the left. Um I went because my dad was in the front. I asked my dad if he called my name because I told him I said, Hey, did you call my I thought you called my name, did you call me? And he said no. So I was like, okay, that was weird. And so I tried to sit back down because at this point, you know, I was like barely a preteen. So I was kind of like confused and like still kind of shaking up. And, and I saw something from, I looked out in the corner of my right eye and I saw something because beyond from um, the dining room, was our sliding glass door which led onto our back porch and backyard. So like if you if you so I looked to my right and I literally saw a I literally saw a figure walk this way, stopped in the middle, turned and looked at me and I remember for a split second like looking at looking at it straight in the eyes. And then he turned like this and then walked back and then kept on walking forward. I literally thought I was seeing things. I was like, like, I was surprised. I didn't know what to say. And, um, and, uh, we saw things like my family, like between the four of us, but between me, my brother and my parents, we saw things or whatever like we're all in a way spiritually gifted like it runs within my family line so 
so so of course like my parents told me like I would like me and my brother were open to talk about these things and so that night I um I talked I told them about it and they thought it was honestly pretty weird <laughs> like I couldn't like really explain what it was but um but I just remember just like just like firstly seeing the figure starting to walk and then I literally turned I quickly turned and looked like and, then, and at this time I, I got up and looked like like I was I was standing up and I was looking this way and I literally s saw it in my eyes and then it just turned back around and just kept on walking but the following morning but the following morning and I'm just gonna warn you this has never happened to me again and this is why I still can't even explain it to this day the following morning um, I woke up and I woke up with James Jones from the War of 1812 for some odd reason and I was just like and while I had it in my head I went to um, the family computer which was well my, my brother had a computer for him and like and at like at the time like the family computer was like in my bedroom because you know I used it to like play computer games and stuff like that so my parents you know I just I just I had a like computer of my own which was pretty nice but um I got on the internet I went to Google and I looked up James from the War of 1812 and I saw information about him and Sorry if you hear something, that's just my, um, grandfather clock. That was my grandfather clock, sorry. But, um, I looked at the information that came up on Google and there was a picture of him too that popped up from, like, from Google Images. And I saw a picture of him and I was like, oh my god, that is the same figure I saw yesterday. And I immediately called my mom and like, like, mommy, mommy, come here. You've got to see this. I told her, I said, I remember that figure I told you about that I saw yesterday. She said, yes, I believe. I believe she said yes or something like that. And, and I told her, I said, I woke up with James Jones from the War of 1812, which never, ever happens to me. But... But I could not find, like, and I found, like, not only pictures, but more information about him. And it just made me question more of, like, why I saw him. Because I really can't explain it. But, um, but, um, I'm going to, um, flip my, um, camera over to my computer and I will get up the information so that you can see exactly what I mean because I was like kind of freaked out just hold on one minute okay guys so I am um back with the information to show you um this is what I saw on Wikipedia because I like of course looked up James James from the War of 1812 Wikipedia and boom this is it's not like a front face photo but this is the side photo and the way his the way his hair was excuse my nails i gotta repaint him the way his hair was the the side viewing of it is exactly the way that i saw him from the first time before he actually looked at me in the eyes and he was born in in nottaway county and uh, and uh, he re and he returned to Amelia County because Zonaway County from Mecklenburg County is not that far away. But um, but um, he did serve. 
But he served in the War of 1812 as Director, General Hospital, and Medical Sources. He returned to the Virginia House of Delegates in 1818. But here's the freaky part about it. Look at this. He died in his home on Mountain Hall near Nottoway, Virginia, April 25th, 1848. He was inherited in the, fam in the family burying ground on his estate. The fact that he died at his home near Nottawa County is crazy because I can literally show you right now. I can try to show you how far away Mecklenburg County is from Nottawa County. And sorry, I'm just kind of like. And I hope that I just spelled not away wrong. There we go. Oops, not public schools. Okay. Um. Let's go to maps real quick. Okay. So is there a way to, let's go to satellite view and let's zoom out a little bit because here's where I currently live within Richmond and here is down here. And right about here where you, where you see um, South Hill and Bracey, this is the area that I lived in. And Nottoway County is literally not that far. And if you want to see it, like, not from satellite view, I can show you. So, see? And I will tap in Nottoway County. To show you guys where it is. Because this is Nottoway County right here. And Mecklenburg County is the county right there. Let me exit out of this. And the county right along there where you see in this within the screen, that part, that some of like most of that is is okay, so keep in mind that's not a way and I will quickly type in Mecklenburg just so you guys can see what I mean because these counties are not that far apart. Oops, that's... There's Mecklenburg County. So, literally the two counties are right by each other so the fact that I saw him I literally cannot explain it but that is what he looks like okay I am back um I changed my viewing on my um, camera but um that um look little few minutes um, on my laptop was explanation of like what I saw and stuff. Um, it is really hard. I tried digging in into like deeper information about him. Excuse me. And just like to learn really more about him to try and see why I saw him when I did. I literally cannot explain it at all. And it felt so real that like it almost didn't but I have never ever 
saw him again. Literally the only t day that day when I saw him years ago was the only time I saw him. And if you're and where it took place at, in case any paranormal people are out there watching it, it took place. My name is Alexia and it took place in Bracey, Virginia. Um, I hope one day I can meet somebody like, um, like Zach Biggins from the Ghost Adventures crew or someone within that, like, paranormal expert-wise because, because I want help, because I would like help with some time within my life, um, to find answers, like, about him, like, go to wherever he's buried at because I can't like officially find it on maps on like his actual burial like wherever he's buried at and try to have an explanation why I saw him when I did because that's why I call it my first unexplained paranormal experience because I literally cannot explain it at all but um I hope that you guys um enjoyed this and um if you have any questions or or anything just uh comment down below don't forget to give this a likes up if you liked this type of video but um but my real name again is alexia and this was my first real paranormal experience and to this day i have never ever saw him again and I still, to this day, cannot explain it. So, um, until my next video, I will see you. So, bye.